All right, welcome back, everyone. We're going to hit some three-by-ones today. Uh, there's not a heck of a lot of them, so I uh, don't think this video will take super-duper long. Uh, that's nice. I don't really love making super-long videos. Even with all the timestamps, I can imagine people get bored at some point. So, one thing to notice, uh, there's not a lot that are all the same. Engineering is the only one that has all of them, all the manufacturers. Uh, but the Living Quarters, Deimos... Then the all-in-one Deimos and Stroud both have two passenger slots. This isn't something I have gone over too much in the empty videos. I did this all in the regular videos. So if you like to do those missions, that will help. I have yet to determine if placing beds will help with passengers. It does not count towards crew like the engineering base have. So I'm going to guess it doesn't, but I still need to test it. Uh, we'll go on to the engineering bay. Uh, Deimos has two types. Uh, if you remember from the video before, one is more like a mechanical room uh, for engines. Think of like the Serenity, whereas the other was more computerized. Think like a modern warship. Um, and then we're going to go into Nova, Stroud, Hopetech, and Tayo. And then we'll go to the separate individual bay uh, B. Uh, I call these hallways because I already know people are going to use them as that. I'm going to use them as that. I think it's a great idea. I'll explain when we get into one of them that I think will be uh, quite the winner in that crowd. Alright, let's start with the one and only living quarters. This is uh, Deimos. And lighting still doesn't work very well, so flashlight it is. This is a weird choice in a living quarters. Yeah, yeah, it is what it is, you know. This one is one that has a bed that does work. So that's nice. If you want to sleep, we have a functioning galley. Very nice. And a head with also a surprise little first aid. I think that's a 10. It's a 2. So it will hold 2 for you. Alright. Very nice. On to the next thing. This way. So now we're going to hop into the all-in-ones. There is only two of them. We are going to start out... Let me get to a side here. We're going to start out with Deimos All-in-One. Head option, good. Uh, bed slabs that are not there. On these, I've said before, you can put the sleeping bag. And it does count. I have seen people, uh, the crew, sleep on it. A lot of... Just, I don't even understand why those are there in an All-in-One. Galley works. I don't love... No, let me rephrase this. Aesthetically, these are cool. But trying to, like, build something there? Yeah, not not a, not a fan. Alright, now we're going to be Stroud Eklund. This is all-in-one. So the brighter version of Deimos. <laughs> brighter as in the lights don't work, but you know, brighter. Well, that's interesting. There's a bed on one side, but not on the other side. So I guess you're popping a sleeping bag down on that one. Head has a door. That's always good. Alright. We are now done with the all-in-ones, and we're going to head to the five different engineering bays that they have. We will... Alright, I'm sure right in the middle. So, we're going to start here with Deimos. This is the A. So, Deimos has A and B. This one's A. And, unfortunately, I don't remember the difference between them. Um, which was the more mechanical, which was the more... Uh, computerized. 
pretty standard fare for what, what it is. A hallway. Once we get to the B, I'll show you why, because the B is my favorite. All right, so now we're going to be in Nova Galactic, and this is going to be in their engineering bay. I do like these cages. Uh, if they didn't have all this stuff right here, I could see people making these cages kind of an impromptu armory. That could be cool. Nothing go else going on uh, of note, so we will hop up to the next one. Climb up. Stroud Eklund. And if that doesn't shout hallway, I don't know what does. That looks like a damn hallway to me. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't even know what more to say. It's it's a big hallway. It's a lot of space. I mean, you know, if you put a window and it and it carves out that square and then puts these at an angle, you got a lot of space in here. You could make really good use of this cockpits up there and whatever else to the side. It'd be very very functional in just a single unit. It does only add one crew, so that's going to be a problem. Gonna have to find some other way to get your crew, assuming you fly with crew. All right, Hope Tech. This is an engineering bay. Don't know that I love this one, if I'm being super honest. Kind of, uh, I don't know. I, I see there being some issues in trying to make it a really functional space. All right, we're going to pop to the last one. This is going to be Tayo and their engineering bay. So this is going to be uh, Hope Tech, but better colors. I mean, if you like the better colors. Less uh, sheet metal looking. Because they painted the sheet metal. Waha. Still don't like the design. A lot of shelving you have to deal with. And I have tried placing, like, where my reticle is right now, placing, or even the verticals, posters on it. You know, just like cover it with posters, right? It just doesn't seem to work. A uh, height warning. Where's the front? This way. So I'm going this way. Nope. This way. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be the last engineering bay, and this is going to be Deimos. Get away from Korra. I, I give them all this space to go in, and they just they stand in here. So, okay, here's... I should have done this in the Stroud, but I do like the floor of this better. So imagine this is your hallway. You got your cockpit down there. I should have done this other where I could have talked without these guys. Imagine a one-by-one one there. And a one by one there. So in the center here, instead of having a one by one, you can either have uh, portholes or put things like grav drives, uh, fuel tanks, whatever else in between so it doesn't pop a door. And another of the one by one here, another one there. So this gives you huge amount of space to do. Yeah, they'll shut up when I'm doing this. I mean, look, look how, if I place this down, look how much space there is. Let's pop another one down. Just for the hell of it, just so we get an idea of the volume. Yep. And, yep. Of course. Because that's where I was going to place it. So she got to stand right there. Alright. So if you look... Wow, that is really deep. You still have tons of space in between the stations. So you could make so much use of this as a corridor in your ship, have a private room there, have the captain's quarters room over here, whatever you decide to make it. 
uh, some windows to look out, because, you know, it's not so stuffy. Maybe this one's the bathroom. Maybe this one's the cinema. You have all kinds of options that you can do with it, and it would make for some very interesting ships. All right, thanks for watching, everybody.